Uh, did you know that there is a way to query related records in ServiceNow with, without writing nested loops or making multiple database calls? What if I told you that you could query relationships in a single step, clean, fast, and optimize? In our last Did You Know episode, Glide Record Fun Facts, we explored Add Encoded Query, which is a powerful way to filter records using encoded queries. Now, this episode was inspired by a great question coming from that video from community member Anubhav24, who asked about RL query and ways to query records based on related lists. And that kind of got me thinking, when should you use RL query and when should you use something like add join query, which is another technique that we briefly covered in our last episode. So today we're going to do a little bit of a deep dive into both. And by the end of this video, you'll know exactly how they work, when to use them and how to easily find RL query filters using ServiceNow reports. Let's get into it. Now, before we start, just a couple quick definitions before we dive into the code. Now, if you already know the definitions of RL query and add join query, feel free to skip ahead to the next chapter. RL query or related list query lets you filter records based on related lists and encoded queries. Instead of querying one table, then another, then joining all those results manually, RL query handles all that for you. Whereas add join query allows you to join a related table in a Glide record script without needing a separate query. It's the preferred method in scripts for cross table filtering and it improves performance by reducing query complexity. Now, while subquery can also filter records based on related table conditions, adjoin query is the preferred method in scripting because it's more readable, structured, and efficient. Now, all of these methods reduce unnecessary queries and streamline complex data retrieval. Let's start with RL query. It's used when you want to filter records based on data stored in a related list, not just a referenced record. So for example, let's say you need to find all group records where at least one active user is a member. Now, normally you might do this with two separate queries. Now this works, but it's inefficient. We're storing user IDs in an array and then making two separate queries. And with RL query, we can do this in a single encoded query. The RL query line is gonna filter groups that have at least one related user in the sys user gr member table. User.active equals true ensures that we're only getting groups with active users returned. And the end RL query closes that RL query condition, which is required for it to work properly. Now, this is something you just can't accomplish by dot walking since you'd be checking for any related user being active, not just a direct reference. Okay, so you're probably wondering, how do I know what RL query syntax to use? Now, while there is an official doc outlining encoded query syntax, including syntax for RL query, I thought I'd show you a simple trick to find the correct encoded query using ServiceNow reports. Now, the first thing that you're gonna do is to create a new report. Now, the easiest way for everyone to do this is to go to sys underscore report.list and click new. Now, the reason I'm choosing this method is that if you've recently upgraded to Xanadu, you'll notice that you no longer have the reports option in the filter nav. Instead, you'll have data visualizations. And creating a report in that view, while doable, is just a bit different. So this method should work for everybody. Next thing you're going to do is select your table in this group. In this case, we're going to do sys underscore user underscore group. Then we add our related list condition, which has one more, a one or more group members where active equals true. Now you might think to look for users here, but this is referring directly to the name of the related list as you see it on the form, which in this case is group members. We'll save our report and then we'll go back and open up our reports record in the back end. And we'll right click and click on show XML and then find our filter condition where you'll see your RL query string right there in front of you. Now we'll take that query string and we'll copy it and use it in our scripts and our filters and voila, easy, right? Now, while RL query is great for encoded queries, adjoin query is another approach to joining data for relational queries where you need to join two tables to get to the data that you need. Now, let's say we need to find all active users who currently have at least one incident assigned to them. Now, you might think we could just query incident.assigned to, but that would only return incidents, not the list of users with open incidents. Using add join query, we can query the sysuser table while joining it to the incident table. 
And now we return only users who have at least one open incident. Now this also is not possible through dot walking alone because we're filtering users based on conditions in another table, a perfect use case for adjoin query. Now let's talk about best practices because with great power comes great responsibility. And we all know that's not just Spidey's motto. So here are a few best practices when you're using these more advanced queries. Number one, know your relationships. Make sure that you know which fields are referencing which tables. One wrong reference can lead to empty or misleading data sets. Two, performance considerations. While RL query and adjoin query can reduce the number of queries, they might also be more complex for the database to run. So make sure that you're monitoring your performance and use them judiciously. Number three, always test your encoded queries in sub prod. One missing caret or misused parameter can throw everything off. And number four, please document your queries so that future you or future teammates know what's actually happening and why it's happening. And that's a wrap on RL query and adjoin query. Another big shout out to Aminov24 from the ServiceNow community for bringing up this great topic. Now, have you used RL query or adjoin query before? Share your thoughts and your experiences in the comments. And if you found this helpful, make sure that you like, subscribe, and hit that bell so you don't miss the next episode of Did You Know? And until next time, keep automating, keep innovating, and I'll see you in the next one.